Hi everyone, so some siege improvement news just went out last week, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's pretty long, I'm going to try to go through it as quick as I can. i uh, trying to go on too many tangents, but uh, basically there's a, a lot of content that they feel might be overwhelming people, as in there's just a lot more content now. Before it was kind of just like there was like Siege on Monday and Thursday, maybe did RTA, but now there's uh, Inner Server, Guild War, Inner Server Arena, you know, and, and events and stuff, so uh, yeah, there's a lot of content now in the game. So uh, one of the things they were mentioning about doing is reducing the battle timer from 23 hours to 12 hours. Um, I, I, from what I've been, what I thought, what others were thinking, this might give issues to people that attack later in the day or have to wait until the next day to attack. Um, it seems very awkward for time zones. I'm not sure how it's going to work too well. Um, they, they did mention that they were also making uh, the point game higher, so it, they're intending for the battles to end on the first day, which most guilds nowadays they do end the the siege battles within the first day but um it might give issues to people that don't attack um earlier in the day um i had always felt and i think others have mentioned this as well that it would have been nice if they just reduced the timers on the towers um one of the things that really takes a long time for siege is that you're just doing it all day because you're waiting one hour per tower to come up and guildies are calling towers and you're you're not it's not like there's a full 10 towers for you to hit and you just go and hit all 10 of them um, you're competing with other guildies to hit towers so when when one tower is coming up every hour you know that takes a long time to finish all your attacks so um I, it has been mentioned by other others others have suggested that they should just reduce the timers on the towers um make them come up every 30 minutes 45 minutes i feel like that would that would kind of help to get through attacks more quickly without having to um, wait as long and having to worry about reducing the overall siege battle time. So that's something I would like to see done. Um, I'm not sure if that this was the best change or not, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, siege battle, okay, this, they're just uh, basically giving more points in the battle soon, the sooner since uh, they're reducing the battle time. Um, the battlefield design, they changed the macro, and then also the siege, sieges are going to be going from three months to four months. Um, I'm not too sure about this change. It, uh, siege battles seem do like the seasons already kind of drag on because, um, like with how they're rank the ranks. This this is one thing I'll probably mention later is that the way that the ranks currently work right now. You know the siege and the siege season starts. Um, the ranks are just crazy. You're fighting rank. You're fighting guilds that shouldn't that are just matching way too high for their level because of the matchmaking and then when it comes to like the last few weeks of the season or the last siege of the season those last couple sieges decide whether you make the tournament or not um i feel like it would be um better for them to address the uh ranking how, how like the matchmaking is and you know not having the last week of siege being deciding whether you make tournament or not um, i'm not sure why they're changing the season period from three to four months uh it does mean that there's going to be um, there's going to be one less tournament per year, so I'm, I'm not too sure about that. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, and also they're giving out more rewards because they're adjusting for that extra month being added to the season. So here's a look at what it's going to look like. It's going to be basically 12-hour sieges, no more uh, day two siege. Okay, and then let's scroll down here. Yep, they did mention that the bonuses... Yeah, being in uh, for 13 to 20 bases will give you more points than before. Again, trying to end the battle sooner. Um, and here is the change that they're changing. They're adding like an extra extra lanes basically to these towers that they have circled um, to, I guess, change up the macroing of the uh, siege battles. I don't really do macro, so I'm not the one that can speak too much on macro, but uh, this is kind of how it's going to work. Um, I don't... I, I guess it's a change. Um, it's... Um, it, it might do something. I'm, I'm sure people that do macro will probably notice whether it would make a change more than or, or not more than I can. But, uh, but otherwise, it does allow things like um, your tower nine can now, like shield nine can now hit, get to shield twelve. So it, it does add a little bit more like um, enticing to take certain towers. So I guess it is gonna do, make it's gonna make some change. So we'll see on that. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. Yes, I did mention that they're changing the siege battle cycle to four months. Um, but one of the good changes from this patch is that they're adjusting the siege tournament schedule so if so let's say for example you got to round four and you had to go to the tournament final um you did round four and then you only had one day to prep and then it was the siege final and it's it just creates a lot of burnout because you're just constantly like 
changing rooms, adjusting everything all in, within a couple, within like two weeks, you know, especially if you don't get a buy in the first round. So um, I think this was a really good chance that they stretched out those couple, those, the round four and the final to give more time for prep and uh, reduce the burnout that Siege tournament can give. And then after that, the, t the tournament ends, there's one week break, which is pretty nice. And that means that you get time to rest and not having to, you know, it, it's always good to have a nice break. So it's a, uh, it's enticing. That does mean that if you are someone that likes to do every single siege for the resources, you are going to get less rewards. But um, in general, they they are making up a little bit for it. Um, we'll see down here. Um, they're gonna get you're gonna get more rewards basically for the end of the season. It's it's making up for you know you're missing a week. Um, because of the break, and then also there's another month being added, so there, there are adjustments for that. So yeah, five thousand crystals if you get the winning guild, or four thousand five hundred round four. Um, I think one of the best changes for this though is that tournament advanced guilds get at least one skin. Before, if you made it into each tournament, but you didn't win the for your first match, you didn't get a skin, which was didn't really make sense. Uh, it always been like if you know if you made tournament you should get something for it because you made the tournament so i feel like this was a good change that at least uh getting into the tournament itself gives you uh, at least one skin and then scoring down here yeah they're giving more guild points so adjust for the um adjust for things more guild points yep just more guild points and then another little thing uh guild leaders and vice leaders get bonus rewards at the end of the season which is you know, like, it, it does make sense because guild leaders and vice guild leaders, they do do a lot of work for guilds, having to manage people, you know, checking things like anyone need bench, starting, like, um, monster subjugation, things like that. So it's always pretty nice to, uh, you know, show that the people that put in extra work do get bonuses for it. Um, I also had a suggestion for, suggestion, should, suggestion, woo, for something kind of like this. Um, like, if guilds could give, like, MVP rewards, so say, for example, that one guildie or two guildies did really good one siege, you can give them, like, an MVP reward for that siege, and they get, like, a hundred extra, like, 100 crystals or 200 guild points, something like that. And I think that's something that can, like, you know, little things to incentivize to doing well in siege, although it's not game-breaking, it's, like, cool, extra 100 crystals, cool, um, extra guild points. So that's something that could also be kind of cool um, and, um, in addition to this change. They are also increasing the special bases, special bases in tournament from two to three special bases. Um, I feel like special bases in general could be a little bit better at how they work. Um, I don't think they should be as restrictive as they are. I think it would be really cool if you could kind of like make them how you want it, regardless of what the um, what the season is. So, like if it was like a monster restriction tower, it would be kind of cool if you could choose any monster to restrict it. So, say for example, you come up with a new defense strategy, but you don't want any, you don't want specific net five to be used. It'd be cool to be able to choose which ones you don't want to be used rather than being based on what Comptuous chooses. Um, it'd be also cool if you can combine them. So, say for example, you can combine like Ban Dragon Knight with um, Ban Immunity, stuff like that. And you can make like really unique towers that are actually, that could possibly pick up wins. Um, you could also, some combos might be too powerful. You could probably exclude some, but uh, I think things like that to make the special towers more enticing and uh, bring out creativity would be uh, really cool. And then they are changing the guild shop. Uh, more importantly, this means that Ifrit pieces are not being restricted to two purchases per week. Now you can purchase at least five. So that means that you can get an Ifrit every two weeks rather than having to wait every five weeks to get an Ifrit. And if you're someone that's really searching for Tessarians, it takes a really long time apparently. So this was a pretty good change to get more of those Tessarians, which are pretty important for Siege. And then if you have all the Tessarian you need, it's just like a free, it's almost like a free Devil Mon every two weeks, like in addition to like the Arena one. So this is a pretty good uh, change. I definitely agree with this one. And of course, you can get like more scrolls and things like that. But um, in general, I always felt like the uh, scrolls were kind of expensive because, and the summoning stones are pretty expensive because usually you're saving for um, the almighty pieces to use in the Hall of Heroes, HOH. Um, at most, you need 10,000 to benefit at the most from the Hall of Heroes, which takes a while to get. So it's like, you know, I'm not really buying scrolls because I'm saving for the Hall of Heroes. So. Um, I do feel like they could maybe reduce the price of these mystical scrolls or maybe give more good points in general because uh, I'd never get any of these like guild shop mystical scrolls. I do get the guild sh seal shop scrolls, the, but uh, the regular guild shop, I don't buy any of those scrolls or the summoning stones are way too expensive. And that's pretty much it. Um, that is mentioned that they want to know that this is not the end of the improvement, but rather a start of the improvement and positive changes to Siege Battle. Our team will monitor the content and listen to your feedback to make Siege Battle more fun with a high degree of perfection. Um, I really, I don't really know who they're listening to for Siege. Um, I, I, I always wonder 
you know, where do they get feedback from? Is it from community managers, Reddit? Um, is there like some form or do they look at YouTube videos or, um, or creators that are like, um, I think there's some creators that are like uh, influencers with come to us. Um, I do wonder where they get some of their uh, suggestions from for Siege. Um, there have been some suggestions made. Um, so a lot of people have suggested like a windy nerf, even though we haven't heard anything about that. Just because of how, um, of how much windy affects the defense creation because it's kind of like you know you want to use a certain unit but windy exists so it kind of like excludes things um you know just in general just to add a lot more creativity on defense but yeah overall um i really think that the reducing the siege battle from 23 to 12 hours may be an issue um i think a lot of people have just mentioned that it would be nice if they just reduce the timers on the towers because in general for myself uh, monday and thursdays are based all around me like i schedule my day around siege but when siege takes like an hour per tower to come up and you're you're competing with their guilds to get tax and it takes a long time to do siege so it'd be nice that they kind of formed it almost like siege tournament where towers just came up more quickly um in a sense that you could finish a little bit more you, you could finish your your attacks uh quicker um and yeah and then the uh increasing the siege battle period from three to four months I'm not really too sure on why that changes. I feel like it was fine on three months, um, but I do like the 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 um, tournament schedule change. How they separated the fourth round and the final round to have more time for prep, and then also that break at, break after. So yeah, overall, I really, I really, um, I would like to know um, more. I, I would like them to communicate more. I really like when they do communicate about what changes they're going to make. So uh, yeah, hope we we hear more things about the uh, siege changes. Um, I think Siege is one of the more, it doesn't really, it's one of those content where even if you're free to play, you can still compete with the top level in, t in terms of actually beat their defenses and compete because a lot of the, the, the offenses are free to play. Whereas in RTA, you're competing with people that just have boxes that you can't compete with and you don't have certain monsters, you can't really do RTA that well. So I think Siege is one of the more, imp one of the more important pieces of content for people that aren't like super heavy spenders so uh, i really do hope that they expand on it and um hope they listen to changes and we can get uh get some things done to uh make siege even better all right yeah if you have any uh suggestions about siege maybe maybe they'll be listening and we can get some uh, changes and so yeah if we discuss some comments i'll be uh i'll reply to your comments as well and uh yeah thanks for watching